This screencast is a story about John's convenience store, problems John was faced with daily operating his store and the way Abby Flexi Capture helped to resolve them. Alright, this is John. He is an entrepreneur. He has a convenience store which sells beverages, snacks, newspapers and magazines. In order to succeed, John should always have fresh goods and latest newspapers. Therefore, he purchases small quantities from his suppliers every day. Every time he purchases something, supplier sends an invoice. Usually, in the evenings, John is entering manually invoices into his computer. Thanks to high level of service, John's convenience store became very successful and John decided to expand his business and open two more stores. As a result, he started to obtain much more invoices. He was trying to process them manually as he was doing before, but at some point he realized that there is a danger to spend all his life entering dates and amounts into the computer. John started to think how to process invoices more efficiently. He had a nice scanner, but couldn't do a lot with documents in graphic format. There was a need in specialized software. He searched over the internet and he found several available solutions, but some of them required programming skills for its configuration, others were processing documents with fixed structure only, and the reality was that even the same supplier could present differently designed invoices. John was afraid to pay for a software which he would never use. After some further search, John found and requested free trial of Abyss Flexi Capture, which was based on a very promising technology of flexible templates. It was stated that this software can process documents with flexible structure as well as unstructured documents. After short reviewing of example projects which were included into trial distributive, George realized that first it was necessary to scan several invoices and create template in Flexi Layout Studio. Then, using this template, configure project in a project setup station. John launched Flexi Layout Studio and created new project. He scanned three invoices from each of his suppliers and imported them into the project. As it was written in example project description, the goal is to explain to the program where the blocks with needed information can be located. So, first of all John decided what information he would like to capture from the invoices. Then he created the relevant blocks. After that, John launched recognition of the opened images and analyzed results. Although invoices were differently designed, needed data was usually located next to its caption. For example, date of issue was next to date caption, invoice number next to ref or number caption and so on. John quickly realized that these captions can be used as reference elements. It was explained in the sample projects that reference elements are used to locate needed data. He decided to create first reference element for the invoice number, but uh, he was a little bit disappointed when he found out how many properties it had. John was afraid that uh, he would need to spend days of learning to understand how to tune all these properties. But then he remembered that Apiflexi Capture 10 had a new training feature. John followed help instructions. He selected several invoices for training and located reference element manually.
Then he launched training. And find out that all these element properties were configured automatically. He launched template matching on the pages which he didn't use for training. And he found out that it works perfectly. On all pages, reference element was found correctly. Having first reference element ready, John decided to create element for capturing of the invoice number. Invoice number was not a static text as its caption, and therefore another type of element was needed. John looked how his suppliers were numbering his invoices. Numbers, as well as uh, middle dashes, were used. So it was necessary to use character string element to capture these values. Element was created and trained in the same manner. To improve data capture it was necessary to explain to the program that invoice number is located next to its caption. John didn't know how to configure relations between elements, however he found out that the training feature can be used in order to generate relations between elements automatically. He generated relations for the invoice number field. match templates on all images and uh, he was surprised to find that uh, his uh, newly created uh, template perfectly worked and uh, he managed to capture invoice number on uh, every page used for template creation even on the ones which were not used for training In exactly the same manner, John created elements needed for capture of other data from the invoices. When John realized that Abby Flexi Layout Studio were finding all elements correctly, he assigned elements with needed data to relevant blocks. And the template was ready. John exported template in format needed for further configuration of project. He launched project setup station and created new blank project. Then it was necessary to describe documents which would be processed in this project using document definitions editor. John created a new document, uh, which he called Invoice, based on the previously created template.
John checked that the template was working and since the results were good, he decided to keep uh, all fields settings unchanged. The only settings he decided to check were that uh, all fields should go for export. And secondly, he wanted to use supplier name, invoice number and amount in file naming, so it was necessary to switch on index field option. Then he passed to configuration of export. John needed the captured data to be saved in Microsoft Excel file and the initial documents should be saved in searchable PDF format. He also wanted to use company name, amount and invoice number in the file naming. Document definition was ready. John closed document definition editor and publish the document. The last thing to do was to explain where Abiflexi Capture should take scanned invoices from. John had a scanner which was saving images in a folder, so he decided to configure this folder as a hot folder in image import profile. And everything was ready. The next evening John came to his office with about 45 invoices received during the day. He scanned them and they were saved in the import folder. Abiflexicapture automatically imported these files and began recognition. In several minutes John launched Abiflexicapture verification station in order to check captured values where Abiflexicapture was not 100% confident. He finished verification within less than a minute because Abiflexicapture sends for verification only the values where probably there is a mistake. John closed the task and Abiflexi Capture began export. In less than a minute, data captured from the invoices was saved in Microsoft Excel file. Supplier's name, invoice numbers, dates and amounts were there. Also, initial documents were saved in PDF files with appropriate file naming. And as you may see, these PDFs were searchable. John was amazed with the result, because he created only one simple template and he managed to process more than 40 differently designed invoices within 5 minutes instead of usual hour. Now John knows for sure that if his convenience shops will grow into an international chain one day, he won't spend the rest of his life manually processing paper invoices. Abiflexi Capture will make it for him automatically. Free trials of Abiflexi Capture can be requested at www.flexicapture.com. Thank you very much for your attention, and if you have enjoyed this screencast, please like our Facebook page, which is available at facebook.com/abi3a.